Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be experimenting a little bit. Um, you know I love my acrylic signs. This still has the paper, the protective paper on it, um, but we're gonna be doing a little sign for a wedding or a shower that just says thank you, and a, it will be on a table with um, all your thank you favors. So this little guy is five by seven. Bought it on Amazon, so you can see it on my Amazon shop. Um, you have to buy this separately, but this is the little stand that it goes on. It, right now it doesn't fit because there's still the protective layer on both sides, but it fits perfectly on the inside and it holds it like this. So I'm gonna show you how I go about designing and how to add the flourishes on this beautiful little uh, thank you. So give me one second. I have a little bit of spillage on my desk. <laughs> so let me just get something over here to wipe that up. All right, I put my little scrunchie down. That will hold over for now. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's go to a new project. So over here, you wanna go to new projects. I'm gonna replace, okay. The other thing is um, I highly recommend using main type, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. <laughs> Um, let's make this big so you can see it. So the way I do this is I always like to bring in a shape of the size of my acrylic so that I can figure out um, just the sizing. Visually, what do I like? You know, do I want it to go all the way to the edge, where to stop, etc. So our acrylic sign is five by seven, so it's not gonna be a perfect square, right? So we're gonna need to unlock this because the two sides won't be the same. So I'm gonna do five by seven. And actually I want it the other way. I want seven by five, so. All right, um, and I'm gonna make this just a lighter color so it's not so distracting. So here's my acrylic sign. I really don't care to measure like the word thank you and say, oh, I want it three inches or I want it five inches. Because I have my acrylic template down and this is the right size, I wanna make sure that the words thank you um, fits in there and it visually looks good because then when you go to cut it, it's gonna be whatever size it is. Uh, we know it's gonna be smaller than five by seven or seven by five. <laughs> okay, so let's go to text right now and I'm gonna type in thank you. Okay, and I'm gonna use one of my favorite fonts and um, it's Hannah Berry Koo. It's from Creative Fabrica. Um, and the reason why I like this font is because it's whimsical, um, but it's not, oops, you know what, sorry, let me make that smaller. Let me go back to the size that it came in, okay? I'm gonna make this bigger so we can see it. All right, I'm gonna move it over. Um, like I was saying, I really like this font because it looks very whimsical and um, delicate, but it's not. It actually cuts really, really well. So, all right, let's go to main type. If you don't have main type, Google main type fonts and download it. So what main type does is it has all the fonts that you have on your system. And I'm gonna go down to Hannah Berry Koo. Here we go. So Hannah Berry Koo comes in with all these extra, um, extra options. So for instance, um, the N, I can make the N have a little bottom, okay? So all you would do is you would click on this, hit Control C, go to Design Space, open up a text box, you need to make sure that your font is the same font that you're bringing in. So it's Hannah Berry Koo. I'm in this text box. I'm gonna hit Control V and it's gonna drop my little N in. So I could have the N look like this instead of just my boring one, okay? So what you would do is you would ungroup this. I'm gonna take this out and put this in and I might wanna move this K up a little bit just so it's not touching or it touches just a little bit, but it's bounced lettering so it all still looks really good. Um, maybe the, so I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. 
I want to see what this looks like. I am probably going to want to do something like this. And maybe have something with the a little flourish here and here. So let's go back to main type and let's look at our options for the letter Y and O, right? Or U, sorry. So let's see what we have here. Um, all right, so we have this option here, which I kind of like. I'm gonna hit Control C, go over here, open up a text box, make sure that your font is the same font, and I'm gonna drop it in, Control V, Delete that Y, bring in this Y, and then I'm gonna bring in the U. So let's go back to main type. So you can see where I'm going with this, right? It's a lot of fun, it's beautiful. Here's my U, I'm gonna hit Control C, go back to design space, text box, drop it in. Here's my U, get rid of this. Um, I actually don't love this N. I'm going to take that out and put this N in. But I think what I want to do is maybe change this to a lowercase t and do a flourish on the H. So let's look at that. Let's see what our options are. So for the letter H, I think we have some fun stuff for the letter H. There must be some like pretty loop up on top or something. Um, so there are the bottom H's, which is not what I want. Oh, here we go. So I like the idea of like this H right here. Don't know if you can see it. Really pretty. I'm gonna hit Control C, go back to design space. Go to text box. Make sure the font is the same. <laughs> and drop it in control V, okay. Okay, and I'm gonna need a different T because that T is conflicting. Um, let's go back over here. And sometimes they have a combination of TH. So see like this one, TH is combined. Um, Cause it's got that beautiful, okay, let's do this one and see what we have. Control C, text box, control V, and let's see what we have. So it has the ER that we don't need, but it has the TH that is really pretty. Um, so what I would do with this one is, can you ungroup it? No, it's all one. We need to slice this apart. So this is what I would do. Okay. When I get it over so that you see how the rest of this is covered, the ER. I want the TH by itself. I'm bringing in a circle to, um, to isolate the ER that I want to slice out of this. So I'm gonna click on slice. Um, just little workarounds, you know, I mean, it's, this might not be the best way to do it, but it's a way to do it so that it gives you an option to fix something. Right, it could be something like this. Um, so this is all together. This is below. Let's put it all like this. So it looks all nice and pretty. All right, and then what you can do is you can weld it. Now that we have this, 
we're going to bring it back up here so we can see how big we want to make this. We want to make it like about this big. This looks good to me. So this is only um, almost five inches across and three inches down. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to make it. I'm going to show you how to apply it. Um, actually, oh, there's one more step. Hold on, hold on. All right. So this is all welded together, right? What you want to do is you want to grab these two items and you're going to slice it. Stay with me. The reason why you want to slice it. Okay. So hold on. We're going to remove this. This is going to be our our adhesive vinyl, our permanent vinyl, okay? This one, what we wanna do is, we wanna get rid of this, okay? And this, we're gonna change from cut, oops, sorry, cut to draw with the pen. You know why? Because let's go to make this, and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. So when you go to make it, so you know our acrylic sign is blank, right? It's like a glass acrylic, right? Um, this little guy is going to be drawn out. So it's going to have this uh, rectangle, which will fit around here. And so we're going to put it behind it, and that's going to be our template. So we know exactly where to put thank you. It's going to be straight. Um, everything's going to look good and flawless and perfect because we don't have to worry about it being slightly crooked. We're going to have the template drawn underneath our acrylic blank, and then we're going to apply the um, permanent adhesive on top. Okay. So that's why you slice it. You slice it and then you change it to draw and it's going to draw this out for you. And then this one is going to be your um, adhesive vinyl, and then we're going to piece it together. That's the end of this video. All right, let me know what you think, comments, questions. The reason why I like to draw it out, and we can do this on a really big sign, I have those videos for the big wedding signs, is so that um, you don't have to worry about it being slightly crooked, right? This is going to come out perfectly. Okay, let me know. Let me, uh, let me know what you want to see, comments, questions. I will see you guys next time. Bye.